Tonight for dinner, I made taco soup and I doubled the recipe. I do have the recipe for you down below if you'd like to see how I made this. I always double or triple this recipe so I could freeze the batch. Oh my gosh, it freezes really well. In my bowl, I added a little dollop of sour cream and some cheese, and this is Mexican cheese. A mild cheddar, Monterey Jack, that type of cheese, it's so good. And then you can also garnish the top with some chives or green onions. This is so good, you guys. <laughs> also, one way that we love eating it is dipping tortilla chips in. Oh, so good. Yum, yum. Hope you give it a shot. Tonight for dinner, we're doing tuna pot pie with green beans and they have garlic salt on them. And that is dinner tonight. It is so good. Mmm, I just made Sloppy Joe's and this is the Pioneer Woman recipe. And I doubled it so there is four pounds of meat here. And then when we're done eating tonight, I will bag up the rest and stick it in the freezer. So here it is all dished up. It is so good. This is the best sloppy joe recipe I've ever had, like homemade recipe. And then I just have it with some salad for dinner tonight. Mm, tonight for dinner we're having shrimp tacos. I do have a video on this if you'd like to see, but there, it's cabbage at the bottom and it has cilantro lime dressing mixed in with it. And we sauteed up some shrimp with tarragon, thyme, a little bit of garlic salt and put a little more of the cilantro line dressing on. It is so good. And I have the recipe again down below for you. Mm, tonight for dinner, we're having minestrone soup. It has green beans, red kidney beans, white beans, uh, hamburger, onions, pasta, penny pasta, stewed tomatoes, tomato sauce, some beef bouillon in there, seasoning is Italian seasoning, and red pepper flakes. It is so good. Mmm. This is a good winter soup. And that is for dinner tonight. We made pizza tonight. We made um, pepperoni, but we already scarfed it down, didn't we? Yeah. So now we're onto the cheese. Mmm. Tonight for dinner, Italian peasant soup with buttered bread. Okay, in the soup, we have zucchini and squash and spinach chopped chicken, sausage, onions. It is so flavorful, you guys. Recipe is in the link below. Ooh, beef stroganoff. I have a recipe for this down below. There is ground beef, cream of mushroom, cream of celery, onion, celery, green pepper, and of course, mushrooms. And you can have it over rice, but we actually really love it over noodles. It's a big hit with the kids. Okay, this is turkey leftover casserole. This is actually a recipe from one of you guys. Um, what you do is you take over your leftover turkey and you can layer it in a casserole dish with frozen peas, um, potatoes, cheese. I think there's cream or mushroom soup. It is actually really good, you guys. And I do have the vlog on it. I mentioned it in a vlog showing how I made it and the link is below. Okay, we had instant pot roast. It was so good. There's actually a video on how to make this. The link is below. But I'm telling you, it was so tender, even though we overcooked it just a little bit. But it was our first time doing it in the Instant Pot. But it was so delicious. Here is another Instant Pot recipe. It's chicken and stuffing. It's like the stovetop chicken casserole. So we have chicken and green beans stuffing. Um, there's some chicken stock in there and a can of cream of mushroom and celery soup. I do have a video on this, so check it below. It's so good. This night for dinner, we had Cafe Real sweet pulled pork salad. Oh my goodness, this is so flavorful and such a huge hit. If you know the restaurant Cafe Rio, this is where it was inspired from. I do have a link below on how I make this. Oh my goodness, go check it out. This is so good, especially with that cilantro lime dressing. Also will be in that video when you see it. So good. Okay, another Instant Pot recipe. We made homemade mac and cheese. Oh, this was creamy and delicious and my kids absolutely loved it. I do have a video on it and when you see the video at the end, um, the mac and cheese looks runny. Uh-uh, let it sit for a few minutes. This 
mac and cheese thickens up. It is so good. So go check it out in the links below. So we went to our friend's house and they made a smoked pork belly for dinner. It was delicious. So good. Derek and I ended up making it for dinner on one night in our Traeger. I did have footage. Can't find it. But, oh, smoked pork belly is so good. We gotta have Brenner for dinner one night. So I made scrambled eggs, pancakes, and of course bacon. It was delicious. Breakfast for dinner is always a hit. Okay guys, here I have bacon ranch chicken. This is a new recipe that I tried out from, from a cookbook that I absolutely love, Busy Moms on the Go by Susie Roberts. This is part of the Fall Back in Love with Your Cookbook Challenge. So here it is for you this week. I did uh, the bacon ranch chicken and now it's one of our favorites and it's definitely gonna be in rotation quite a bit. I do have a video coming up on uh, showing how to make it. If it's already posted, the link is below. And we had Navajo tacos one night. So good. I made fried scones and we put pinto beans and taco meat on top with some cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, and ranch dressing. So good. The kids absolutely love Navajo tacos. So that is a look at our month of January. I hope this inspired you to try new dishes or think of something new that you could add into your meal plan. So thanks for joining me today, you guys, and we will see you soon. Bye.